Hi everyone, welcome back to Artie's Craft Corner. I'm Emily and today we're going to be making our very own slinky dog toys. So the way that a slinky works is that you press the front and the back of a body together while you have a curly cue right in the middle so that when you release the body, your dog's body will jump out and stand right in your hand. Now depending on if you're using foam or just thicker paper, your dog will have an easier time standing in your hand. But the most important thing we'll be using today is this curly cute, which we are going to be making from a pipe cleaner. So let's go over some of the other things that we're gonna be needing for today's craft. Pipe cleaner is first. Glue or tape, scissors, color pencils, of course, to make our faces, as well as different color paper. Now, the first step that we're going to be doing is taking our pipe cleaner right here. So you can make it any color that you want. Mine has a little glitter on it because I like a little sparkle. And for our first step, you're going to take a pencil, any pencil, it doesn't matter, and we're going to wrap our pipe cleaner around the pencil. Now, pipe cleaners take the shape of whatever you mold them into. So by doing this and wrapping it really tight, holding it here for a moment, your pipe cleaner will turn into a curly cue. Now, we can remove our pencil, make it a little bigger so you can pull on both ends to change the shape, and there you have a little slinky shape just like this. So you're gonna put that to the side so we can focus on making the dog's front and back end of the body. Now, you're gonna start out just by cutting a simple circle today. I'm using a brown piece of paper. You can use any color paper that you want. And the first part of a dog that I always like to draw is its snout or the nose right here in the center of the face. And I like to do that because then everything that goes on the face goes right around wherever you put your nose. So let's all start by making our snout. Now it is usually in the shape of an oval. Let's see, just like this. Okay. Now, what comes next from our oval? We're gonna make our two little U shapes that are going to be our dog's mouth, okay? So let's draw those underneath. I always like to give my dogs freckles. And if you really want, you can have your dog's tongue sticking out, which I know that usually happens often right? Dogs are always hungry. So you could take a colored pencil, make a little tongue for your dog if you want, just like this. Okay, for the next step, we're going to want to make our dog's eyes. I always like to make big, very expressive eyes on our dogs because I think they look very silly that way. You start with two circles and then you want to draw in the pupils any way you want. In my opinion, the bigger the better. <laughs> he has a silly face, doesn't he? Okay, so once our face is done, we're gonna put him to the side. Now, today I chose to be making a dog with pointy ears. You can make your dog have pointy ears, floppy ears, whatever kind you want, but today I'm going to show you how to make these pointy shapes. Now, with pointy ear dogs, it's okay that if they don't have the exact same shape, as you can see, this one's off a little to the side. It looks like he's making a right turn. <laughs> Um, but I think it just makes your dog have a little more personality. So make sure you make any kind of ears that you want to. To start by making pointy ears, I'm going to make a little bit of an arc shape. So let me show you. And I'm gonna be using black paper. So we have one line that makes sort of a curve followed by a straight line. Then I'm gonna be drawing a second line so that you can see the inside of the ear. That's what I'm gonna be coloring with a light pink color. You're gonna to wanna to make a curved line right next to the straight line. So we have one big curve and then a straight line. Then you're gonna make a second curved line and you're gonna color that in. I'm using a light peachy pink kind of a color. When that's done, you're gonna wanna make a second one, right? Dogs have two ears. And again, it's okay if they don't look exactly the same because they don't have to. You can make it thinner. Here are my two dog ears that I drew quickly. Now, we're gonna cut them out using our safety scissors, or you can ask a grown up for help. There's one. And here's two. Okay. Alrighty. 
Now, for our next step, we're going to want to tape them to our dog. Anywhere you want on his head. They can be off-centered. They can be even. If you have a dog at home, try to make your dog look like the one that you have in your family. So I'm going to tape that very quickly. You can use glue if you'd want as well, but it's easier for me to show you with tape. My ears that I made are a little smaller than the ones I have in my sample, but they're just as cute in my opinion. Okay, there you go. Now, for our next step, we're going to be using a black circle that you want to cut out or whatever color you'd like, but as long as it's different from the face is what's important. See in our sample, we have a black body with a brown head and two brown legs, and then a black body on the back with two brown feet and a brown tail. So these are the colors that I'm using. So what's most important is that your face and your body are a different color, just so you can have some contrast and you can see the real shape of your dog. So you're going to cut out that circle and you're going to tape them together. Just like this. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to need are legs, of course, for a dog to stand up. So I have taken a thin piece of brown paper and I've already drawn two little oval size shapes right over here. So we're just going to want to cut those out so that our dog can have some feet. You can make your dog tall or short, however you want him to look. Be sure you're extra careful when every time that you're using scissors. All right, so here we go. We have our two feet. We're just gonna attach them just like we did in our sample. I like to make both ends have rounded points but if you want, they can be flat. Just gonna finish on both sides. All right, and then we're going to just take them on to our dog. There you have him. So that's the front of our dog is now done. After that step, we are going to make the back of our dog. This is gonna be the other side that's on our pipe cleaner. So we're going to need another circle for the body in whatever color you used for the front of your dog. And we're going to need two legs for the back of him. We're going to cut out the same shapes that we used on the front. They can be smaller. Hind legs sometimes are a different color fur. So we're going to use that oval shape as long as we have two to tape to the back. And then we're also going to need a tail for our back. Now, as you know, I'm sure dogs have all different kinds of tails. You can make a circle tail or a pointy tail. You can make a tail that kind of looks like maybe the shape of the ears that we used, right? Remember with that straight line and then a curve. So you can make your tail look any way you want. And we're gonna tape them to the body. So our dog here is gonna have two darker hind legs. Hind means back legs. And then we're going to have a brown tail. Okay, so I've made a little long tail. It has a curve, it's gonna look just like that. Okay, so we have a front of our dog. We have the back of our dog. Now we need to connect them. So we're going to take the curly cue that we used from the beginning, right? Make a little bigger. I like to go like this a little just to make sure that it has a little bigger curl our dog. Now the best way to attach this part to our front and back is with tape, 
unless you're using a hot glue gun, in which case you would need extra adult supervision. I'm gonna take this piece of tape, it works just as well, and we're gonna put it in the center of the body of our front of our dog. So not the head, but the body. And that's where we're gonna connect it. To make it a little easier, at the end of your pipe cleaner, you can make kind of a flat line so that when you place the tape over, it will have a better hold. Okay. Now we just have to do the exact same step for the back of our dog and we will be done. Right? When I make my dog, I like to have the tail on the front end so that you can fully see it. So that will be the side that you're taping the pipe cleaner to. Alrighty, and there you have it. So we squish it together just like this. And then your body will pop out like this and stand in your hand. So here we have both of our slinkies. This one has a very curly tail and this one has a very bendy tail, just like that. So you can make them however you want. It depends on how you want to curl your pipe cleaner. Uh, but then your dog should stand right in your hand just like this. Now again, if you use foam paper or thicker paper, your dog may be a little better at standing than others. Uh, but this is with plain construction paper and as you can see, he's standing just fine. So I hope you enjoyed your craft today. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. Be sure to comment and like our videos so that we can continue to make more for you. Have a great Saturday.